What up, dogs? Welcome to the second episode of Nilmer Movie Nights, the show where we go to our local video store, rent something we've never heard of, and watch it, and then record our reactions. I'm Nilmer Steve. And I'm Thur, the special guest for this week. Yeah, and last week too. Today, we're going to be talking about a film we love watching today called Brittany Ever After. This is a <laughs> an 88-minute biopic about Britney Spears, yeah. and it's also a Lifetime original event. Yeah. So it's just bound to be great. It is great. I really enjoyed it. What did you think of it? I thought it <laughs> sucked ass. Whoa! Edgy. Holy I thought flip. it sucked butt. Okay. Well, uh, everything about it was really good, honestly. Okay. Where do we even start, holy flip? <laughs> Where do we even start? Okay, so the movie st- starts, I guess, with... Um, in present day, I guess it's like 2015, 2017. It doesn't say. It, it doesn't It doesn't explicitly say, but there are these filmmakers who want to make a documentary about Britney Spears. This isn't the biopic, by the way. This is the actress who's playing Britney Spears in character doing interviews with people who are making a documentary. Yes. And it's just great. It's really great, yeah. So, so then it cuts to that, like, then, then, and all the freaking time. It cuts to that time. all the time. And the, and the way you can tell that it's part of the documentary <laughs> is because there, it, there, it cuts in, and, the, like, the shot is all blue with a little recording logo up in the corner, and then the recording logo in the blue goes away. Right. And it makes you want to die after a while because they do this, like, 15 times. Okay, but after that first diegetic shot, it cuts back to 1998. Right. And uh, it's... <sighs> I guess Britney is got big off of doing a song. It we don't, yeah, we don't hear the song. We don't know how she got big, but she's big. It starts off when she's big. Yeah, <laughs> it, this, the one thing you're going to want to get used to if you're watching this movie is that it never explains anything. <laughs> like, never, ever explains anything. It focuses on the stuff you don't give a frick about, and it, it doesn't tell you about her, like, career at all. It's just her relationships. I yeah. guess that's what it's about. So later we meet this character named Justin, who apparently she has been uh, childhood friends with, and we later find out that this person is Justin Timberlake. Except liter- we don't later find that out in the film because the film does not tell us that it's Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I we had to look it up. I had the to- film expects you to know that Britney Spears dated Justin Timberlake in the early two thousands. And also one thing that uh, I mean, if you're a big fan of Britney Spears, that you're gonna want to do is that it said that. Justin Timberlake was her childhood friend, which is not. They actually got a different character who is her, supposedly her childhood friend, and then they also made Justin Timberlake her childhood friend. Right. They said in the credits that like they reorganized a bunch of events for drama, and y- yeah. So after I looked up <laughs> all of Britney Spears' past relationships, uh, I uh, learned that she later had two husbands, one of which she got married to in 2004 and was annulled the same year. And apparently she was married to you for 55 hours. And the other one, she got married that same year, 2004, and then divorced in 2007. Stuff, I like you rocking it rough. It was a calm summer night, so clean the rain came. You blow my mind with that divine smooth silhouette that we could jet to Puerto Rico. Free ghost toes, and I forget set my invention on that evening. What the smooth you. Right. And so with this in mind, I kept watching the movie. But. Okay, so my first problem with this <laughs> is that... Wrong year. Yeah, after... The movie says all this happened in 2008. It's four years... It, it just set things four years in the future for Either some that reason. or just someone forgot, like, to they pressed the wrong key yeah, when they were so entering weird. it. Yeah, it's so weird. We looked it up on Wikipedia, and it's just completely wrong. We actually looked it up on a... Um, well, first we looked it up on Wikipedia, but then to verify... Yeah, we had to fact-check ourselves, they're, because they're, we're like, Britney Ever After couldn't be wrong about which year Britney Spears got married in. So there was this so article... So we looked it up, and it was wrong. So that, there was this article that was published in celebration of Britney Ever After <laughs> before the film came out, and it explained all of Britney, Britney Spears' relationships, including with Justin Timberlake, and then we fact-checked, and we were like, no, this takes place in 2004, this movie is getting it wrong. Right. At first, we thought it cut from 2003 to 2008, and we were like, that's a big time skip. But no, they just got the freaking date wrong. Right. And it, it doesn't tell you how she met any of the people she marries, or like... Actually, it, it just it kind of tells us one is that... Uh, Justin? She, or no, no. The third oh. guy was a backup dancer, and that's right. it. That's all we get. He's a backup dancer. That's how they met. And then they're just making out, and then it cuts, and they have two kids, 
and they've broken up and this movie doesn't explain anything and it expects it, you to follow along with very its convoluted terrible. timeline. Yeah. It... Also, um well, I'm not done talking about this yet actually. Okay. Okay. So, first we get introduced to the character of Justin in 1998 and Brittany's smoking on the side of her tour bus and we're right. like the flip isn't she 16? I thought she was like a responsible person or whatever but no mm -hmm. she smokes and then justin timberlake apparently <laughs> is like hey want to have sex and then she's just like yeah yeah there so, are lots of sex montages in this film. so then they have sex and uh then, no nudity though no nudity just sex montages yeah so then they have sex and then a couple of scenes later uh justin timberlake is on the beach with Brittany and her younger sister oh this is my favorite scene in the whole film and talk about it so they're making sandcastles, and Brittany says to her sister, hey, why don't you make a moat around that sandcastle? And apparently her sister doesn't know what a moat is. So Justin freaking Timberlake says, yo, JL, because her name is uh, Jamie Lynn. She's, he says, yo, JL, every bomb sandcastle's got to have a fly moat, you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ju and Justin's then, character especially uses very hip lingo. Um, it, like he also says don't just break a leg break everything <laughs> <laughs> he repeats that later yeah. in the film and he, what is it he calls something the bomb diggity oh yeah um <laughs> at near the beginning of the film uh britney is sort of self-conscious about her fame and he's like yo brit don't you know that you're the bomb diggity? right 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 yeah no she's straight bugging he wants to know if you are aware that you are in fact the bomb diggity. Yeah, Brit, Brit's the bomb diggity. He calls for Brit, by the way. I mean, a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, but then, anyway, after the sandcastle scene, they go inside and they figure out that their house has been robbed. Oh, heck yeah. And then, uh, apparently that, uh, she and Justin Timberlake recorded a boudoir, <laughs> or a sex a tape. A sex tape, yes. And that it got stolen. And they tell this in front of Brit's parents. And they're just like, Justin comes in the room and he's like, Brit, they took our sex tape. And Brit's dad is like, what? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, then they, then, oh God. Uh, so they, there's like a montage where Brit and Justin are talking to each other over the phone a lot, but they don't actually talk to each other. Oh, yeah, they're just yeah. recording voice clips. Yeah. And this is where I was like, Wait, so Justin is also recording songs and playing at concerts. Does that mean he's famous? And so that's when I had to look up and found look him up and found out that it was actually Justin Timberlake. Right. They don't say his last name. They at don't all in introduce the any of these film. characters, like or any anyone before, besides Brittany. Before she's the that, only person we know who she is. Before that recording montage, I didn't even know that Justin was famous. <laughs> so because they don't like introduce anything they just expect you to know right and get they, a they just cut the present day all the freaking time and then cut back and we just missed a bunch of stuff and <laughs> and so then there's a scene at a nightclub where she's talking to her dance instructor whose name is wade right and then she's like hey where's justin and she's, and she's like i'm gonna go check so she finds justin at a bar and apparently there's this girl flirting with him so, oh yeah, but this which the subtitles told us. By which, the way. which the subtitle? We couldn't figure that out. We needed the subtitles to tell us what was going on. <laughs> right, and that, the girls were flirting with him. We anyway, so she walks up to Justin and he's going and says, "What's going on?" And he says, "It's just a fan because <laughs> it probably is. Like, I highly doubt that he actually wants this girl to be flirting with him. But anyway, uh, Brittany goes up to the girl and says, "Back off, skank." <laughs> And then ask Justin, did you give her your phone number? No, actually, first, first, um, the girl recognizing her and she says, oh my god, you're Britney Spears. And then Britney oh, right, says, right, right. back off, skank. <laughs> and then, ask, then, then she and Justin get into a fight and are, then, we, uh, uh, and then her dance instructor Wade comes and is like, y you're, you have no fault in this. He's stupid to let you go. Right. Even though it's clearly her fault. Even though he wasn't there, he doesn't know that it's not her fault. Why does what he what do you, does he does he even know what he's talking also, about? Also, before this, there's like a useless scene of Britney like dancing in her apartment alone. Oh my frick! Yes, what was that? Like all 
ninety percent of these scenes have absolutely no impact to the overall story. <laughs> Okay, so the way that Lifetime describes this film on their website is Britney's fall and then her rise back to the top. Right. So the fall happens when she gets divorced from her second husband and she wants to see her babies, but apparently there's like a custody battle or something. Mm -hmm. And you never know what's going on. There's one scene where she has purple hair for some reason. She goes up to her mother and says, <laughs> my, lawyers, I'm, my lawyers are coming for you because apparently she's in tight works with, with the husband whose name is Kevin, I think. Right, Kevin, yeah. And it's never explained why. And then the next scene, they're just totally fine. There's yeah. a scene where she's in a red dress and she's smoking with her dogs. Her dogs aren't smoking. <laughs> she uh, is smoking she, she's around smoking her around her dogs. And then she goes for a photo shoot and she's clearly fucked up. But Whoa, there, there's, edgy. She's clearly on drugs or something. Yeah. Uh, but then they're just like, it's fine, we'll just do a photo shoot. And she looks terrible, and she starts wiping, like, chicken on her dress and, and eating it and, like, smearing it on her face. And then she sees a picture of her after the photo shoot, and then she's like, who is that? Is that me? I look terrible. <laughs> and she goes, gets in a car, drives away, the paparazzi are following her, and they're like, yo, you're so hot. How do you manage it? How do you manage being so hot, Brittany? Right. And she's just like, I'm Brittany Spears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah which is a i don't know if this is a great time to mention it but it's a great time to mention that the actress who plays britney spears is really bad no way she her laughing sounds like she's <laughs> t constantly sucking get like gasping for breath <laughs> and her face while she's laughing her too. smile sometimes she just lingers on her, her smile, smile she looks so like creepy. a psychopath there's one specific instance where she smiles and it looks very scary and i'm gonna put it as the thumbnail of this video if i can find it and she's uh, she constantly speaks in this heavy southern accent. Right. And she... The film does make it very clear that she's a country gal. Yeah. Like, she, like she's having drama with her husband, Kevin, and they're, she's like, all these paparazzi are trying to frame it like we're having problems just because we're a little country. Yeah. <laughs> she's from Louisiana. Um... Yep. And despite being a biopic, this film really told me nothing about Britney Spears, I and know. I had to research everything separately. We learned more so I knew on what was five actually going on on Wikipedia that we looked in the middle of the film than the film actually taught us. Yeah, because she this dated film a guy named introduce... Kevin, a guy named Jason. She was with Justin Timberlake. I didn't know that before. Yeah, but I, we only knew that because of the Wikipedia page. Right. Yeah. So after she gets clearly fricked up, and mm -hmm. Ben goes on the drive. And then eventually she gets admitted to a mental hospital and mm. she acts like everyone's taking her rights away and is not treating her like a person, even though she obviously can't make decisions for herself. Right. And she's like, why did I wake up in a hospital? <laughs> and yet she's like, you want to control me. She says this to her biological father, by the way. Also, right. pretty early on in the film, her parents get a divorce and it's like not important because her dad and mom are still very prominent characters in her story afterwards. Right. And also, there's this, like, man her manager named Larry, who mm. she fires after she gets married. But, but then she but, she cries, and then she's like, Larry, come back. You were so helpful. Which Yeah, because, which happens only after uh, she sees a text message on Kevin's phone that's like, hey, want to have wanna, sex with me yeah. for another girl? Not even, not even that. Just want to meet up in this room? Yeah. <laughs> it's heavily implied like, that they're going to have sex. Kevin! Urgh, dang you. Dang you. Yeah, so... The film, like, w when there were her, the scenes in the mental hospital where she's like, don't take away my control and I want to see my babies, because right. she says that a lot. Um, and, yeah, her her boys. Her, her boys, she, she says, says once, too. but mostly she says her babies. Right. Which could <laughs> be like... They're not babies. Which could be like a euphemism for her dogs, because she has two of them. <laughs> a euphemism for her dogs. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, but, no, it's actually her, her children. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, okay, so if we're gonna get this dramatic rise back to the top, surely uh, they're like at least half an hour left in this movie. Maybe, maybe less, maybe like 20 minutes, right? No, no they're five. Two, there are two minutes left. Two minutes. Two, minutes. two minutes left in the entire film, including the credits. Right. And it doesn't, like, show how she got back to the top. It just cuts away to Preston, and it goes back, and they're like, hi, I'm Britney Spears, and then the movie's over. Yeah. And, uh, like, I think it sh shows her winning a couple of awards, and then she's up. Uh, yeah. Like, she in performs. 2015, she's like, someone tells her, her Brit you're Britney Spears, after she finishes a concert. So she goes back right. up for an encore or whatever. 
Speaking of performing, it does. I don't think any Britney Spears songs are in this film. Oh no, actually there are three. There are like well, there three are, scenes where there are covers. No, there are three scenes. I don't know if they're actually Britney Spears songs because I don't listen to Britney Spears, but they're all covers of other songs that yeah. Britney Spears supposedly sang. And it just shows her up on stage. By the way, there was a stunt double for Britney Spears credited in this movie. Oh, we have to talk about the Brad Pitt scene. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Okay, so well, after... I, first of all, actually, before the mental hospital, before I forget, she shaves off her hair. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and this is... So there's this... It's referenced throughout the film it, where she's just like... She says something about how she shaved her hair and then it just cuts a couple seconds of her holding a razor and being all sad <laughs> and it just cuts and her hair this, is brown and it everything cuts this clip of her brown-haired britney with a razor several times and then we finally learn at the end that she she shaved her hair because she was sad or whatever and it <laughs> yes it's not explained still yeah anyway after after anyway. she broke up with justin she was having a hard time so she went out with a girlfriend uh-huh it, I, I thought maybe this i don't know she also said, I was so young at the time, even though she looks exactly the same All age of the, in the actors future. look exactly the same throughout the film, even though the old, it starts in 1998 and ends in, like, 2015 or something. Yeah, 2015. When they're making the documentary or whatever. And yeah, all the actresses and actors look all the same. And it's kind of unbelievable, really. Right. Her hair just changes. Yeah, her hair changes a lot. And but sometimes she's wearing... Not. Uh, sunglasses. Right. Um, but anyway, what happens in that scene is after she breaks up with Justin Timberlake, mm-hmm. uh, oh God, there is a scene where she goes out with her girlfriend, buys a star map. He, she doesn't react as Britney Spears or anything. Yeah, he, he just sells her the star map for a right. dollar. She just has dollars conveniently in her pocket. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a line where she says... I'm going to find out where my future husband is. And it says, oh my God, Brad Pitt. <laughs> so because this is LA. <laughs> While they're driving away, the first thing they see on the star, the star map, they're like, oh my gosh, Brad Pitt lives in this city? So then they go to Brad Pitt's home. Yeah, so because this is LA, and they go to Brad Pitt and they see Brad Pitt. And they're like, oh my God. And then Britney falls out of a car and gets her <laughs> leg injured. Maybe that's what the stunt double was for. That was the only thing I it's could think of. It's the only stunt in the film is her falling out of a car. There's onto the ground and scraping her leg a little bit. Yeah, and then everyone acts like, oh my god, you scrape your leg? How could you let this happen to yourself? But it never comes up again. Yeah. Like, she says, like, my director's gonna be so mad. And then, but then when she gets home, her mom is like, what did you do to yourself? And then she's like, oh, by the way, you, your father and I are getting a divorce. <laughs> I know. Well, right after, she's like, where, yeah, where have you been? Oh, and sorry, your daddy like, and I are getting a divorce. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. But she... She, her mom asks, yo, Brittany, did Brad have a shirt on? And she's like, no, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. And what did he funny. look like? Like a big man of, like a big hunksicle or something yeah, like that. <laughs> a mansicle, I think. Big hunk. Big hunk of mansicle, big, I think yeah, is what that, she that, said that exactly, weird. right? Big hunk of mansicle. Which is a great way to put Brad Pitt's bod, I think. Bod? Yeah. 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 So. Anyway, daddy and I were getting a divorce. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. so many things we're just forgetting to talk about because there's so there's just so many things and we can't remember what next time we have to take notes. But there are also some great quotes that I'm sure we forgot. Oh yeah, what was in one of the recording, recording, recording present day things? Mm-hmm. Um, what is it? Her dad. Her dad. Yeah. Oh yeah. So come hell or high water, my daddy's gonna get me those cheese grits. Yeah. Well, okay. So first of all, she's. She's just talking to her dad, filming this documentary, and the dad's like, I'm going to go get some cheese grits. And then Brittany looks at the camera, and it zooms in her face, and she's just like, come heck or high water, he's finna get those cheese grits. Except she doesn't say finna, sadly. <laughs> I, I really like that line. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, some other things. I guess the acting is really bad, even if we're not talking about the main actress, who they never credited, by the way. Yeah. What was that? We didn't see. Maybe it was in there. We didn't see it. No, the first, we the to first this person. Hate this movie. The first person they credited was the line producer, and then all of the co, <laughs> and then all of the co-stars or actors. Yeah. In the movie, and it never said who she was. Yeah, it's kind of. I mean, I guess the parents are okay. The actors. Oh yeah, the, the parent actors were fine. Um, the writing is also especially bad. If you couldn't tell from, yeah, yo, <laughs> yo, J L. 
every bomb castle's gotta have a fly moat, you feel. <laughs> That's probably the best line in the film um, for us. But, yeah, the writing in general, it doesn't make oh, yeah. sense. Also, there's this one character that's introduced really late, uh, and the way he's introduced is, um, in present day, Brittany says, the first time oh, I saw Sam yeah. Lufty. <laughs> his name is Sam Lufty. Yeah, his name is Sam Lufty. The first time I saw Sam Lufty, he was in a nightclub, and after that, he just kept showing up. It doesn't really tell her who, yeah, it doesn't really tell us who Sam Lufty is. It, just that he right. keeps showing up. Like, in a later interview, someone's like, how did you know Sam Lufty? Was he a friend or what? And then she's just like, I don't know. Oh, it just doesn't tell us. He's a major character, but we have no idea who he is. Also, he keeps saying, I'm the only one who does anything for Right, Britain. he says that like three times. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Another really cool line in the film, um, they're in like a restaurant, and then the waiter is like, his car doesn't oh, yeah. work. Yeah, and his car doesn't... This is, like, really near the beginning of the film as right. well. Like, the card rejects because, I don't know, money has always been a tight thing for this middle-class family in Louisiana. <laughs> and so the dad says, are you speaking English? Because I'm getting really pissed off. It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. The writing is terrible, especially. The soundtrack is so bad. Especially because um, at the beginning, they, like, repeat the name of the song that, like, made her famous or whatever. Oh, yeah. Like, we don't like, hear it at all. In one interview, they're, like, Britney's, like, please don't make me talk about Hit Me, Baby. Right. And then uh, the interviewer's just, like, okay, well, not we won't talk about that. Let's talk about your relationships instead. Exactly. And then at the end, it's, like, yeah, she's winning awards for this one song. I don't remember the freaking name, but then we don't hear that either. The only performances we hear of her is... The, the stupid cover she does at the VMAs or whatever. Yeah, it was mostly silent, actually. I mean, the, lots of scenes like took place in clubs where they're like blasting just terrible rap and stuff. Yeah. Also, there was this one scene uh, where Sam Lefty is telling a bunch of people to go away because Britney wants to be alone. Mm -hmm. And it's using the same set as earlier in the film right. when she was making out with the person who would become her first husband, her Kevin. second husband, actually, Kevin. Who's a backup dancer. He was a backup dancer, yeah. <laughs> so we see that same... That same set twice, even though it is nowhere near the, the same place in the, in the story. Yeah, yeah. Is there any? Is there anything else we have to say about Britney Ever After? Oh gosh. Um. Let me let me think real quick. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave that whole silence in there. You better. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for listening. Maybe we'll cover some good movies on this podcast yeah, at maybe. some point. But first we have to cover Not Morgan this week, and though. me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's this really uh, cool soccer movie we saw at the video store that we want to we wanna check out at some point. But in the future, we will try to look at some things that don't look like complete garbage. I would give this movie a 1 out of 10. Me too. I guess... The shots weren't terrible. Actually, there's like one shot that I was like, okay, that's fine. Right. But no, one out of ten. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing special about it, but it's not like unbearable or anything. Yeah. I mean, the, of course, the, the acting and everything, the writing is, but there's there's really not much to say about this film. Sorry for the five minutes shorter than the first episode, <laughs> but... I know you're so freaking disappointed. There's nothing else to talk about. I'm sorry. Go watch this movie for yourself. Just kidding, don't. It's, it's plain painful. Yeah, All I right. mean, if, if you really want to suffer with your friends, you can get some good laughs out of it. The, the lines we talked about are really funny, but that's about it. I've been sorry. You can check out my YouTube channel in the description of It'll this video. It'll be up by the time we upload this. Yeah. Yeah, which will be next Sunday by the time we're recording this. You can check out my channel in the description below. You can also check out my channel, which you probably have already because this is on my channel. Um, I make videos about my cat, which I said in the last episode. Bye, everybody.